So, switching the angle again. <laughs> and still one of the most important things, learning curve right now is, yeah, the memory. <laughs> the memory on my phone is, yeah, it again ran out. And yeah, I think that's the next task, the next task to actually look out for that, get some more space. And yeah, it's a step-by-step -step process. And I wanna be so authentic and real on that journey with myself, first and foremost, and also with you, with everyone out there, as I think that's the only way we can actually really and truly grow. And especially for myself, it's quite the challenge, you know, as presenting myself honestly, open, direct as I am and also with the flaws and also with everything that comes with it it's quite quite challenging and sometimes really really difficult with everything around right society everything everything around I mean I name society as some kind of term a broad term and yeah this is also a very very interesting and deep topic for me <laughs> which I like to talk about and engage myself with. Ooh, the lightning again. Yeah, how can I really? And that's the next <laughs> step, the lightning for the recordings inside. Outside, most of the times, I personally love the natural recordings, which are natural background, like natural colors, yeah, from the nature and natural lightning. And also the reflection, you know, the shades and, and all that comes with it. So if it's like that right now, I can record with the same lightning in my cabin. Yes, when it's getting dark and yeah, and I want to use the light, the artificial one. I try to also incorporate maybe some candles or a special light with some kind of covering. Yeah, might get into that. Also, woo, <laughs> I might get into that also step by step or including in the process. For now, I might sit down for a little bit, relax and yeah, continue to talk about what this journey will all include. And you will see it going forward on my channel. You will see it in the videos, you will hear it and yeah, you can also check out my podcast and my blog and yeah I have a lot of material in the background which I've written over the past yeah two or three years where a lot of big changes happen happened in my life and a lot of yeah distractions on the way which might be and felt really interesting at the moment and super super amazing <laughs> yet thinking about afterwards sometimes I realize hmm, I might or could have done it differently or could have spared me something some detours on the path of a holistic lifestyle and mentioning all the topics right there are so many different uh, yeah, really important things to consider on YouTube <laughs> on a channel yet also in life Right? Life is complex. So, took a little break and I think that's quite nice to stay in one spot for the rest of today's video as I really love the lightning here and a little bit of water is coming down. It's not raining, but you know the remaining water on the leaves and on the trees and... <sighs> yes, as you can hear that will definitely be one of the biggest parts of my channel, nature. <laughs> the connection with nature and if I continue with this stick here <laughs> or not or a different setup, we will see, I will see. And yeah, what I still think about as some kind of important topic to mention, just to mention as I think it's also a process for the yeah, short to midterm, maybe even long term to discover all that, you know the frequency, how many videos I upload, maybe I might change that. Uh, for now, I think one 
or maybe two per week and as I have a lot of material also <laughs> from the past for my journeys for my travels and material as in photo form images and videos and also material in here <laughs> in books and in my head <laughs> so what is quite nice uh, right now as I just looked at my little I said in Spanish cuaderno <laughs> yeah notebook notizbuch which I always try to carry with me and it's quite compact quite nice keep it in a in my pocket my pants pocket or in the backpack or yeah somewhere in the jacket as now I'm riding frequently again and yeah on a daily basis which I yeah actually started again beginning of the year I think and it's also already <laughs> one nice tip recommendation for people I mean I think for everyone and I think we all sometimes in our life have encountered a book or a movie that's based on a book or a TV series or like a certain topic learning an instrument learning a language being in school <laughs> we have encountered a book right and writing actually is I've never actually believed that when I was younger like learning by reading is so much more profound and helpful and can be so game-changing actually as books are the best oh one of the best I don't I try to use the word the best not so 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 often uh, as it's up to interpretation right <laughs> so I think books are one of the best ways to to learn something something new to discover something new or to broaden your mind to step out of your comfort zone also a big part of my my channel my journey in general and why I'm doing this right now because I actually want to share my path how I become or became and are still becoming more self-confident more open more engaging <laughs> and I, I can see it's not taking too long uh, to get accustomed to recording myself and yeah some of you might be experts and say wow uh, <laughs> looks totally ridiculous or I don't know <laughs> not so professional and yeah again one of the most important things it's a learning curve for me that is definitely not one of my my strengths or my main topics you know visualization uh, like as a video programmer or s something like that that is not my background and I was in touch with you know certain people that are professionals in video editing audio editing and still are especially now with the new channel and with my podcast and in general I think it's quite nice to get out of your expertise zone you know and even though you might not like it in the long term but how can you know if you're not trying it out and so this is definitely also one of the topics and things I want to share thinking about continuing the hike or staying here if the spot is so amazing <laughs> and I hope I hope uh, the audio is, is enough for now and I can adjust it on the on the laptop later on the editing process one of the most I think the only things I try to edit is the audio to enhance it a little bit to make it more clear and maybe I think now the background noise is actually quite comforting and not disturbing and yeah that's the thing keeping it authentic and real and open the whole way and being honest about my shortcomings if you want to say uh, about maybe the shaky camera <laughs> okay that was on purpose and also all the other stuff right want to be authentic and pure and sh really share that with me and myself and and see that this helps me on my way on my path I, now you can see it <laughs> in the shade yes holding the camera stick man if some people could see me right now <laughs> me holding a, a selfie stick and recording myself yeah actually for me it was always a little bit this like the distance to it I've watched a lot of youtubers or took photos recorded something yet not myself maybe and more and openly engaged without any technical equipment into daily life 
so yeah for now i think it's also quite nice making use of the modern age of all the technology we have and can be really also thankful thankful for and i think should use talking to me <laughs> especially first and foremost in a balanced respectful way and in an in a way where we don't overdo it and that might be different for you and for me yet I think we have this inner gut feeling each and every one and when we do something that's against this inner gut feeling I think we all realize that the inner voice some might call it and I think there's different names for it so and for me that was one of the biggest revelations discovering this inner voice and not only that but listening to it and then walking down <laughs> listening to it and working with it respecting it but not too far and not too less right so in a way where we see and hear what our inner voice is telling us but not following oh no, be careful <laughs> not following blindly right but consciously aware and this is something well some people be working with their whole life some might call it to be enlightened to be enlightened yeah to be aware of your surroundings taking everything in for me it's the nature right now holding a camera talking seeing a butterfly hearing the birds hearing the birds <laughs> yeah and when I'm in a different space in different place it's something else that I realize that I'm aware of right different circumstances and all of that is us right is life so how for now as the person I am cannot include all of that in my process on my channel as I'm continuing to grow hopefully <laughs> and to learn and still getting inspired it might be by Rick Rubin somebody might know like a lot of people might know oh, this lightning again <laughs> it might be by Tupac which I also mentioned a couple of times one of my biggest inspirations in life Jesus absolutely Bruce Lee and a couple of very very close friends and family members and there's no particular order <laughs> why mentioning this person or this one first and this one last absolutely not each and every one of them me you everyone brings something different to the table right bring something different to life a different aspect a different mindset a different opinion of something and I think personally even even if some people or two people or more agree on one topic or two topics or three there are always differences and they are not bad that's what makes life so interesting and so diverse and that's what I want to do with the channel to spread that message in respect in love in harmony in balance to each and everyone to me nature the universe each and every one that is included into the universe that might be animals that might be your neighbor your boss that might be one of your family members that might be a bird sitting on the tree building a nest that might be a virus a bacteria no? we've recently all experienced something globally spreading huh? some virus some situation <laughs> another big topic yeah it might be it could be everything and 
all of that is part of the human experience of life experience right if you connect with your dogs and <laughs> i got a big newfound love and appreciation for dogs since i moved here where i'm living right now in the andes mountain in south america 